I want to turn now to some of the issues. Abortion, obviously, is the central issue of this campaign. You have said that on multiple occasions. So I want to make sure that voters have a clear understanding of exactly where you fall on this matter, because you do believe there should be some limits on when a woman can get an abortion, correct? I believe in codifying Roe, and Roe has limits. Uh, so Roe versus Wade was the law of the land on June 23rd. I think we need to put that in the Ohio Constitution. So we all have, as women, we have the rights we had on June 23rd. So you said that if elected, you're going to work to guarantee abortion rights for women in Ohio. How do you plan to do that, especially given the Republican majority that we see in the state house? Yeah, the state legislature is illegitimate and extreme, so we will have to go directly to the people. And what I've said is immediately after winning the governor's race, we'll work to put this in the, on the ballot. We know that Ohio is a pro-choice state. Eighty-two percent of Ohioans say they want some sort of abortion access in the state. And so, you know, if you even talk to Republicans now, they know that once we put it on the ballot, we will win because Ohio is a pro-choice state. So a recent survey found that 36 percent of Ohio adults say that inflation is top of mind this election season. It's what everybody sure. uh, is talking about. What can you do on the state level to lessen the impact of inflation? Oh, Kyle, they could do so much. And the governor, Mike DeWine, could do so much, too. We've called on, for example, putting together an inflation rebate, the money coming from the federal government, putting money directly in working families' pockets would save, you know, be about $350 for every working person in the state. States like Florida and uh, Indiana have done this, but Ohio has not. Uh, the, the governor could also stop price gouging. Ohio is one of few states in the country that it's legal for corporations to, ga to gouge consumers with no repercussions. It's the reason why we have really high prescription co drug costs in this state. Uh, we could cap insulin at $30 a month, something the state of Kentucky has done. There is so much this governor can do, and he's done absolutely nothing to help Ohio working families out during this time. As we sit here in Dayton today, I, I can't help but think about the time when so many people across the country and so many people across the state first came to know you uh, in light of that horrible tragedy that happened here in Dayton. Mm -hmm. Uh, and after that, you kind of became this national voice uh, on gun control. So you know better than probably anyone that compromise is the only way uh, that we're going to get some form of meaningful gun reform legislation. Where are you willing to meet Republicans in the middle to get that gun reform legislation and ultimately save lives? Well, look, I think gun safety is a key issue in this race, too, right? Mike DeWine told the people of Dayton that he intended to do something around gun safety. He lied to them and actually went the opposite direction because he will not stand up to the radicals and extremists in his own party. And we've seen that, like with the signing, you know, with permitless concealed carry, something law enforcement was against because it is so dangerous for them, uh, the arming of teachers uh, with very little training. And I want to be clear, we're not talking about responsible gun owners here. We're talking about things that 9 out of 10 Ohioans agree with, like universal background checks like extremist protection orders. Again, the state of Indiana and Florida have extremist protection orders. Those are not uh, considered liberal states in any, any means. They're conservative states, and they still have those kind of um, things in place to make their communities uh, more safe. Mike DeWine won't do it because he is so terrified and so weak, he is not willing to stand up to any of the outliers in his party. And you're right. It's about where the middle is. Right, right, right. And that's what, like, you know, universal background checks. Nine out of ten Ohioans believe that universal background checks is something we should have in this state. It will make our communities more safe.